esteemed guests, parents, and very dear students. It is always a delight to be amongst you, amongst all the bright faces, and to interact with you. Some of you are graduating this year, and we wish you all the best in your careers henceforth. You are well trained, you have all the skills, and I'm sure you will do very well in your careers, wherever you are, anywhere in the world, like all the seniors, your seniors before you. In this industry, more than academic knowledge, it is the practical skills that matter. And in our colleges, we focus on imparting you as much practical training as possible. So with what all you have learnt, with the skills that you have gained here, and with your proactive enthusiasm, there is nothing that can stop you. Not even Mr. Donald Trump. I want to share my own exposure to Mr. Trump's hotel. Uh, this year, January, I was in Washington to attend the board meeting of World Cycling Alliance and also to speak at the World Bank Group Headquarters Conference, Conference on Transforming Transportation in the World. And next to our hotel in downtown Washington is the Trump Hotel. So we could not restrain our curiosity. We dropped in one evening to take a look. At the front desk, there was an Indian girl. We moved on. Then they have a huge lobby. It is lobby come, coffee shop come, bar, everything rolled into one. So when we were walking past the uh, bar, there were three bartenders, two were Indians. And we went to the coffee shop, the coffee shop manager, the restaurant manager, an Indian. So we just so we came back to the front desk and asked the girl, since how long are you? And how many Indians are in this hotel? She said, I'm here for the last three years, and uh, quite a few Indians work here. So I wonder if all the new uh, amendments that uh, Mr. Trump is talking about, if he practices them, if he enforces them, what will happen to the Trump hotels? No hotel in the world can do without Indians. It is the Indians <laughs> which make the hotel successful. We, we leave an indelible mark. Our service standards are very high, and we excel, particularly in hospitality. So nothing can deter you. I'm sure the whole world is before you. So aim high. And I'm sure you will do very well in your uh, career pursuits. We are delighted to have Professor Ramchandram here. As an alumni of Usman University, University Arts College itself, way back in 73, ours was the last undergrad batch. Probably, you know, we were so notorious that after that, no more undergrad batches. Ours was the last. <laughs> And it was only you know, PG courses thereafter. And we enjoyed our stint in Usmania University. And uh, I'm delighted that under your leadership, the centenary celebrations are being taken up. And I'm sure uh, it will be a great, grand success. I also want to brief you, share with you some uh, CSR activity, corporate social responsibility activity that we have taken up. Uh, well, Indian cities are virtually becoming like gas chambers. Delhi has already become a gas chamber. And to make sure that our city, Hyderabad, does not become a gas chamber with ever increasing vehicle pollution levels, we have taken up this initiative of smart mobility, pollution free mobility uh, through cycling. And we have promoted uh, cycling in a big way, so much that already Hyderabad has become the cycling citadel of India. And 
our objective is to transform that commuting culture in our city and a major project that we have taken up in this direction is in collaboration with Hyderabad Metro Rail and UN Habitat. This is the first time UN Habitat has participated in such an event under this tripartite agreement between our Hyderabad Bicycling Club, UN Habitat and Hyderabad Metro Rail. In every metro station which is coming up, there are 63 metro stations. On either side of the metro station, we will have a bike station. 63 into 226 bike stations. And in every thick commercial and residential cluster, there will be a bike station. So, well, it will be, it will provide first mile and last mile connectivity to the metro rail commuters and it will change the contours of how we move about. So, uh, this is a major project. In fact, and when I say in our cycles, they are not just ordinary cycles. They are the best in the world. We are importing from Germany the hardware, software, everything. And you can, uh, there won't be any manual intervention. You go to the bike station, use your smartphone or smart card. The bike is released automatically and you ride uh, and return it anywhere else. So it is, uh, well, what we are doing, I have seen, I have cycled recently in uh, Manhattan, their public Then I realized that what we are going to introduce in Hyderabad is going to be far better than what they are using in Manhattan, New York. This shall be operational uh, pretty soon. Uh, well, as we will be synchronizing with the commissioning of the Metro Rail and well, I'm sure you will all benefit by that. It's really a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much.